Welcome to PBN Lab. In this video I'm going to give you a quick crash course on how to set up a new job and then we'll take a quick look at the results page and have a look at what we can do there. Once you log in after activating your account you'll be presented with the dashboard. I think you'll agree with me that the dashboard is very bare and somewhat minimalistic. That'll change soon enough and the big space down the bottom here is where the live job stats will appear. In the red panel you can see an overview of your crawl jobs where they're running, queued, waiting or completed and in the black panel is a quick overview of the domains you've found and those you've marked as favourites. So let's get started by clicking add new job. The first step in the process is giving the new job a name. It can be anything you like and ideally should reflect what you're about to search for because you'll see this job name in the results page. In step two we'll be adding a list of seed URLs which is a list of distinct websites or pages that the crawler will use to begin its crawl from. There are three simple ways to load a list of seed URLs. The first and easiest is by using keyword search which utilizes current data from the Google index and we source and pay for this data legitimately using Google's custom search engine API. The second option allows you to manually enter or paste seed URLs one URL per line. And the third option here allows you to paste raw HTML which will pass for links programmatically. It's a powerful but more advanced method. For this basic demo I'll use a keyword search since it'll deliver us great results with ease. Enter the keywords you'd like to use, just like when you're genuinely searching Google. You can put them in double quotes and include other semantic terms that the Google search engine will recognize. My niche for this example is a buying keyword for cycling shoes, so I'll use the search phrase Bradley Wiggins in quotes, who was the Tour de France winner in 2012. I won't get into what you should be searching for at this point because that in itself is a huge topic. By specifying a country here, the Google API will return us results more specific to that geographic region. But keep in mind it doesn't necessarily mean they'll necessarily be sites from that region. We'll leave this as the, at the default of USA. By specifying a year, the Google API will return top results beginning from that year. While it doesn't always vary the results greatly, it does at time help yield different results and I'll set this to 2012. After the web service pulls back data from Google, we'll get to see the list of seed URLs. So looking at the preview of seed URLs here, we can actually click out and preview some of those links. But take my word for it when I say that it's not worth your time. So just click finish and add the job to the queue. If we head back to the dashboard now, we'll see the live status of the current job. There's a lot of data here to look at as the crawler goes through the various stages of the process. Initially we'll see the stats of the crawl itself, with the main points of interest here being the total number of URLs that have been indexed so far, the crawl rate in URLs per minute, and how much time is remaining. After the crawl completes, very quickly it'll establish a distinct list of domains from the broken URLs, then look them up and verify their availability. And of course the most important part, fetching metrics for the available domains and returning all the crucial data back here so you can review the results. There's nothing you actually need to do, it's just showing you what it's up to. I'll pause the recording now for the next few minutes and then we'll take a look at the job results view and how we can use it to quickly review the domains we found in the crawl. Uh, so we're back after about 20 seconds of our own time setting up the job and waiting a touch over 10 minutes for the whole process to complete. You can see that the crawl has returned 64 available domains. It actually indexed 304,000 URLs and whittled that down to seven, almost 8,000 domains with an unknown availability status which resulted in 64 available domains. So let's go check them out. As we look at the results view you can see there's quite a bit going on but really this is actually dead simple. At the top here we can select any job that we've run in the past. Looking at the data table itself the first column here allows us to select multiple domains at once and then perform bulk actions on those domains like marking as favorite or trashing the domains. The second column here allows you to mark a domain, mark or unmark a domain as a favorite with a single click, like so. And then of course in the third column here we can see the domain name itself and then we see the majestic trust flow and citation flow values then the Moz domain authority and page authority we can sort any of these columns simply by clicking the header, sorting by domain name in alphabetical order, 
by truss flow in descending order, citation flow, etc. And if we click on any row in the table, it'll expand out and we can see the majestic backlink data and also the all important truss flow topics. We can also see the Moz rank, uh, the links that Moz have indexed for the domain. And here we can see the URL that we found in the crawl, which we used to discover the expired domain and also the page we were crawling. You can actually click out on this link and take a look at the page we were indexing and we found the dead URL. It's a nice way to get a feel for the context of the old site that was set up on this domain. Under the action button here, we have deep links into Moz, Ahrefs and Majestic. So in a single click, I can check out what other data those guys have got about this domain. We can also click out to archive.org's web history and screenshots.com. Hopefully they've indexed the old site and we might be able to see exactly what the old site was about, um, whether or not it was spammy or if it was a horrible little thin site from an old PBN. I won't sit here and analyse all of these domains, but as you can see in a single crawl that took us 20 seconds to set up, we've got countless domains here with great metrics straight away with trust flow, 15, 20, 26 and 24 on citation flow. But just looking here at the second domain on the list, urbandownfall.com has a trust flow of 25, a citation flow of 19, a DA of 17 and a page authority of 30. In terms of what we're actually searching for, we can see this domain here is very closely related to the niche that I'm working with, sports cycling, sports and also business. Uh, it has a Moz rank of 3.4, which as you know, that's basically a page rank of 3. So I'll mark that one as a favourite, that way I'll be able to review it in more detail later on. So the question is, what's going to happen when we have literally thousands of domains here to look at? It'll be time to start filtering down to just the gold, and here's exactly how you do that. When we expand out the filter settings panel, you can see I can set some basic filters here that allow me just to view the domains I've marked as favourites or domains that I've previously trashed. I can modify how many domains are displayed per page and how many domains to pull into the data table at once. I can also set my default sort order, which is by default set to Moz Domain Authority. Personally, I prefer TrustFlow, so I'll set that to TrustFlow. Under Moz Metrics, we can say we only want to see domains with a Moz rank greater than 2, a domain authority greater than 10, a page authority greater than 10, and under Majestic Metrics, let's say we only want to see domains with the trust flow greater than 15 and the citation flow greater than 15. Here we've actually got the option to save these filter settings and display settings as default and every time you come into the results view those settings will apply so you won't need to see any domains that don't meet this criteria um, or we can apply it temporarily and just click apply filter. So as you can see we're now just looking at the domains that meet the criteria that I set so now the filter's applied, we can see that there were three domains that met our metric criteria. To take a closer look at those, these domains straight from the offset look perfect. Recreation, outdoors, sports, sports cycling, and recreation and travel or health. Good trust flow and citation flow. Pretty decent domain authority and page authority. Mark that one as a favourite. So there you have it. it. took us 20 seconds to set up the job and straight away we've got three domains that nobody else knows about and I can do whatever I want with those. Crawling for domains doesn't get any easier. If you've got any questions at all, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Scott at pbnlab.com. Thanks guys. See ya.